Uh, greetings to everyone. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I believe that you people are doing good, are doing great, and you also had a great week as we now closing the week. I mean, towards the weekend. So uh, I believe that God has been good, has been faithful, and has been right there with you, with your family, with your friends, and just everybody. And I thank you that we're able to come back and join us to Climbing Stairway with Herod podcast. You know, it is where we grow, we learn, and we climb the stairway together. So I would like to thank everybody who did actually, yeah, I actually realized that the family is actually growing bit by bit, you know, we're going to get there. So yeah, I, I, I realized that we actually, yeah, we're growing a bit by bit. And actually would like to thank everybody who did, uh, who did subscribe to to the channel i really appreciate your support i really appreciate the fact that you did subscribe you consider that subscribing thank you very much and in case if you haven't subscribed and you really wanna support the channel definitely please do subscribe i beg so yeah please do subscribe and you people are actually welcome to comment say something you know let's have this you know interaction welcome to leave a comment you know you can say anything you can say amen you can say praise the lord you can say anything you're actually welcome to say actually anything if you don't have maybe something to comment on or anything like that but you you, you can just leave anything you can just say anything you know you're welcome you just you know you're just welcome to yeah let's just interact and let's just have fun right here so definitely and you people can also now, if maybe you would like me to touch on some things, maybe to teach on any particular thing, or maybe you're just struggling with something, you know, if, if there's something that you want me to touch on, definitely you can just put it on the comments and let's see, you know, let's see what, like, yeah, I, I will definitely maybe make a plan of, of making sure that I do touch on whatever that you would have suggested that maybe I touch on or anything like that. So, yeah, thank you very much to everybody who did, who did subscribe and anything like that. Yeah, I, I feel I have to, you know, just to show appreciation and thank you, people. So, yeah, so with that being said, yeah, I welcome you to now our, I think it's our fifth, yeah, our fifth episode. Yeah, we're definitely doing our fifth episode. It's our first season where we're going back to God. Remember, let's not forget that. Yeah, so this is our fifth episode and i believe that it's something that you're gonna learn from it and i believe that it's gonna help you it's you know if you can just receive it you know just receive it make sure that you know you just listen and be very attentive you know so that the, the enemy doesn't come and maybe steal the message you know it's just you know just receive it get it and be full you know pilate this is a is a heaven heavenly dish that i'm serving you right here you know so yeah this is me coming to you people good people of you know children of god you know sons and daughters you know yeah thank you very much for being here and joining us on our fifth episode i believe that you also did to listen to other episodes i i i I think they will help you with the with whatever that maybe i said there that i shared there it's important that you get it so if you haven't you can just go back to them after you finish this one and listen to them i think they will help you so okay now we on our fifth episode let me just get into the you know into it so yeah this is me coming with this dish that i believe that you people maybe need it i think so because this actually i received it last week sunday it was, um, it, it was so amazing you know i remember i was taking a shower it was on a sunday morning enjoying myself you know taking that shower enjoying it singing to god you know praising god you know i like doing it when i'm in the shower just singing not that i'm a good singer but yeah i do try to sing and you know just just to sing to the god to my god <laughs> yeah just to sing to the lord and yeah so as i was busy singing and you know doing the things i therefore felt like i felt more of, of of the holy spirit you know you know when we can just feel the presence you know i know the holy spirit lives in us but now 
it, it was a different experience. I actually felt it. I, I felt the atmosphere changing and and it was actually so good because I, I, it, I even reacted in a way, you know, I felt some sensation around my, my hands, like starting from here, from here, both my hands, I felt this sensation that I cannot, I, I can't put in words, I don't know, it's like, I don't know how to put it, but it, it, it just happens. Sometimes when it happens, you would even feel like doing like this, you know. It usually happens, it, it was not for the first time it happened, it, it, it would happen when I'm just deep in prayer. So it, it actually happened, it was for the first time where it happened while I'm in the shower. And, and now it actually happened in a way that it even happened on my ankles, like on my, on my, on my feet. And it was like, what? And, and I, I was actually now deep in the spirit and... and and then now God just put this message that I'm going to give to you now. He, then God put this message. Wow. Then God put this message. You know, you know, actually when God puts a message sometimes, if you, it would be like, you know, it's like it's a software in a way, like it just gets into you, you know, and you understand it, you receive it, you get it. Many would agree with me here. But then now, the, the, the only challenge is when now you have to pass it to people. Well, now you have to make it make sense. You have to break it down so that people can also get it. Because I just got it like, you know, from God himself, like, and, and, and I get to understand it and receive it. But now I will just try to break it down so that you and you and you can get it also. It's a very powerful message. It, you know, it, to me, it felt so powerful. I was like, what? Like, it was just a quick sermon that God just gave me. Like, you know? And it was like, I'm actually preaching it because I began preaching it in the shower. And as I, as I, as I was preaching it, it was like I was actually preaching it to people. That's what I usually do. And, and God usually do this to me. Like, normally he, he will do this when I'm in the shower or maybe taking my bath, relaxing. Then he would start speaking, you know. Then I would feel, okay, okay, good things, and and I actually start preaching it, like preaching and preaching as if maybe there's someone who's listening to me. But the reality is, I'm actually just preaching and receiving it, and like I think that's how, you know, I receive the message actually. So this is how, okay. Oh, this is actually this is the message, you know. Let's just say a quick prayer before we receive this message, right? God bless our food before we eat. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so now, allow me to serve you this proper, delicious, heavenly meal. Receive it. Receive it and receive it. Enjoy it, right? Okay, this is it. I just, I, I just thought I should just read this scripture as a starting point it is in the book of judges chapter 16 verse 20 it reads as follows then she cried out samson the philistines have come to capture you when he woke up he thought i will do as before and shake myself or and shake myself free but he didn't realize the Lord had left him. Yeah, that's the message. <laughs> yeah, that's the dish for today. Okay, yeah, okay, let's break it. Let's break it down now, you know? Let's just, just break it down. Let's break it down. This to me, it felt so, 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 you know? It just feels so heavy in my heart now. Okay, let me just break it down. Listen here. 
if you listen clearly remember okay how do i start this i want to start this in a very proper way i want to start this in a very proper way so that you can understand it and so that it makes sense okay so remember now we've been told that after Del- delilah told samson that the philistine have come to capture him he 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 thought to himself he, he thought to himself oh it says he woke up and then he thought remember he woke up and then he thought if, if you can just go with me you will get it he woke up and then he thought i will do as before and shake myself free but he didn't realize that god had left him i want to get it here he woke up remember what does it mean to wake up it means he, he opened his eyes okay so as he opened his eyes that means he saw something or he realized something yes he didn't realize he didn't realize that the lord had left him but he did realize something I, the bible doesn't mention that the bible doesn't mention that it doesn't mention that whatever that i'm saying but that's what I actually when god put the message to me that's how i actually understood it then now remember it says he woke up and he thought after he woke up he thought so i believe that when samson woke up he realized that his hair was no longer there he he realized something it was before they they coached them out he realized that his hair maybe he even felt it that his hair was no longer there but he didn't realize that that the lord had left him that's what the bible tells us it says but he didn't realize that the lord had left him so now what is it that did he realize because clearly there should be something that he realized so what i believe that samson realized is that he realized that his hair was no longer there yes he didn't realize that the, that the lord had left him as the bible tells us but now i think there's something that he realized he realized that his hair was no longer there you know what the, you know what does that mean that means that samson realized his hair was no longer there then from that point i believe that he believed in it, that the power was no longer there at that very point that he realized that his hair was no longer there i believe that he just believed that the power was not there of which that's not the case okay let, 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 allow me to go you know to flow with this i i, I want you to you know to don't lose me let's go let's go i know you you've heard songs being sang saying the power of samson was in in his hair i know you've had preachers you've had teachers you've had you know you you name them preaching that the power was in the hair I'm not saying maybe they are wrong. No, I'm not saying that. But now there's something that I'm coming with. There is no part in the Bible unless if maybe I have poor reading and understanding skills. But now with the Bible that I read, I had no part that says cut not his hair because I will put the power in it but i heard god says let his hair not be cut for he will be dedicated as a nazarite to god 
what is a Nazarite? If you go back to the book of Numbers, chapter 6, if you read from verse 1 to verse 21, you will realize what a Nazarite is. A Nazarite is not someone who have power. Definitely, he, he, he is not someone with power or who is, or who is strong. A Nazarite is someone who, 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 who is dedicated to God. Those people, they don't have to shave off their hair. Those people, they don't have to drink wine and alcoholic drinks. They don't have to eat raisin. They don't have to eat grape. They don't have to eat grape, grape skins. They don't have to do any of that. They don't have to, to stand next to a dead body or a corpse because it will defile their hair. That's a Nazarite. If you go back and read it, you will understand there is nothing that talks about power right there, but the hair is there, that their hair, they should not be cut. Then God said, let his hair not be cut, for he will be dedicated to the Lord as a Nazarite. Nothing that mentions power there. So the hair was there as a dedication to God as a Nazarite. That is why God left him. The reason why God left Samson is because Samson actually told the enemy or he told Delilah who really wanted to know where the power was. But Samson said, my hair had never been cut since from birth. Then now Delilah thought that the reason, the reason he has power is because his hair has never been cut. Of which that's not the truth. I don't think it is. The power was not in his hair. Yes, I, I know it, it, it may be, you know, it, it may surprise you. You're like, what, what, am, what, what am I saying? What is he saying? I know you'd actually, you're probably going to ask yourself that. What is he saying? But the power was not in his hair. Oh my God, help me to say this. Help me preach this. <laughs> the power was in Psalms. But now when he woke up, he didn't realize God left him, but he realized the hair was not there. What made Samson, or what made Samson to be weak and for the Philistines to be able to capture him and gorge out his eyes? Maybe, maybe, maybe many people like said that, that's the question you're asking yourself, right? I think it is. If 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 the hair is not in, if the power is, is was not in his hair, then then why after they've cut off, of of maybe after they've shaved off his hair, then he didn't have power. That's probably what you what you are asking yourself. The reason why Samson didn't have power. It is not because he really didn't have power, but it is because God had left him. The first thing that he didn't realize is that God left him. What happens when, when God leaves a man? He loses his purpose. He loses his identity. His true identity, that's what happened to Samson. He lost himself. He believed that because now the hair was no longer there, the power will not be there. I think that's what he realized and that's what he believed. But the power, I still believe, was there. But now it couldn't work if you don't believe. And because God had left him, definitely now he, he lost his purpose, he lost his identity. Because that's what happened when, when a man lose God. People are not just, you know, they, they are not just, maybe people, they don't just decide to go still. There's something that they have lost. They don't just they don't decide 
to to adultery to commit adultery to to be drunkards to fornicate you know to indulge into sin to do any other thing there's something that they've lost and that is God there's something that they fail to realize that God had left there's something they fail to realize and that is God had left Tell you what, if you go back, okay, now actually, no, it's not back, and now it's forward. To the very forward, if you will remember what happened when, when they crucified Jesus, when we are already on the cross. Remember, the Bible tells us that at noon fell darkness around three then Jesus said something he shouted out he shouted out saying Eli Eli Lema Sabachthan and the translations are Eloi Eloi Lema Sabachthan that was the first time we heard him screaming crying is because he realized something that Samson didn't realize he realized something that Samson failed to realize as when when he woke up he realized he he felt God leaving because it says it is in Hebrew this Eli Eli Lema Sabatan is in Hebrew, which is translated as My Father, my Father, why have you forsaken me? So Jesus realized it. He he saw him. He felt it. That now he's no longer there. Then he cried out. He called upon his father. Eli Eli. Lema Sabatan. Eli, Eli, which means what happens when you feel that God had left? You call upon him. You do. I know I know us as human, we don't usually do that. But now, if it made Jesus cry, just think about it, how important it is. Because now he, he had all our sin on him all of it. He, he, he became a sacrifice for him. Then God left because now he was just full of sin. Remember, a sin is hostile to God. It is an indefinite opposition. So God couldn't stand his son also. When he had all the sin, of the of the world but Jesus called because he realized that God had left then now we see Samson who wake up and think that he will do the usual the normal that he does only to find out that God had left him but he didn't realize that hence he, he didn't have that power anymore that is why the Bible didn't tell us that the power left Samson, but it says that God had left him. It didn't say he didn't realize that the power had left him. No, the gift doesn't leave you. Your gift won't leave you, but God will. If you continue indulging into sin, being part of sin, because sin is hostile to God. And you can't be in sin and expect God to be there. God can't be, he can't stand that. That is why he even left his own son when he had all our sin.
Then we see our Samson right here. He's like, I'm gonna do the normal. He doesn't realize what left him. Then now what happens after that? They overpower him. They capture him. And then, my God, my God, my God. Then now, oh my God. Okay, now let me say this. Let me say this. After they capture him, they gorge out his eyes. That, that's a message right there. That's a deep secret right there. That's a mystery right there. They, 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 they captured him. They gorged out his eyes. In other words, they're saying, Hey, Samson. Oh my Lord, oh my God. They're saying, Hey, Samson. Walk not by sight, but by faith. If you want to capture us, if you want to kill all of us, if you want to destroy all of us, then walk not by sight, but by faith. So now, they were telling Samson something, that if you come and walk by sight, already the sight we, we're telling you about, Already it has affected you because it has now made you believe that you have no power because you realized your hair is no longer there. Because had you had seen that and believed that the power was not in the in the hair, but it was because God was with you. Had he realized that God had left, he would dance. He would maybe he would have done something. Maybe repented, begged for forgiveness. For revealing a secret that made the hair that God said it should never be, be it must never be, be cut off or be shaved be shaved off because here he was a dedication to God then beg forgiveness because he, he realized that God had left him but he didn't realize that then they caught him they caught out his eyes saying hey samson if you want to kill all of us you better walk not by sight but by faith now we're taking off your eyes so that you walk not by by sight because when you walk by sight each and every one of us that you come across or, or each and every one of us that you see you'll want to kill and and it will take you time when when you kill us one by one but but walk not by sight yeah. walk not by sight so so now we're preaching to you we're telling you something oh my god oh my god oh my god we're telling you samson if you want to capture all of us me if you want to catch if you want to capture all of us and kill all of us take your time you, you better be patient with us and walk not by sight but by faith for if we take off your eyes, Samson, uh, we will know that, and, and to us, it will be that we've won a victory over you, and we will now gather together, we, we will come to you, Samson, we will come to you, 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 you won't have to, to rush after us and, and start killing us one by one, but we will come to you if, if you can just walk not by sight, but, but by faith, in other, in, in other words, they were, they were preaching exactly what, what Apostle Paul told us in the book of, of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. It says, For we walk by believing, not by sight. So now that's what they were telling Samson. They were saying, Samson, if, if you want to walk by sight, you will miss it because each and every one of us you would see around here, you, you just want to trash and, and just kill. But now it will take you, it will take you long, it will take you time. Because now you will be walking by sight. But now if you can just channel your mind, Samson, and walk by faith. And walk by faith. We will come to you. We will gather around. 
And that's what happened. It was the Bible, when you fast forward, in verse, verse 22, Judges chapter 16, verse 22, it tells us then, it says, then the hair began to grow back. Why is the, is the hair now growing back? Does that mean now the power will be put in the hair? Does that mean now that the, the hair, as, as it grows back, the power will actually be now have a place to be put in? I don't think so. But I think the reason why the hair drew back, it was also for Samson to have something to boost his, his faith so that when he knows that the hair is back, he will easily believe because as people, as human, we like believing by seeing. We like to have something that we can see to boost our faith. So, so when the hair drew back, definitely Samson could feel it. So now at least it, it, it actually increased the possibilities of him getting back his power as he believed, of which I don't believe that it, the power left him. God left him, then he lost his purpose, he lost his identity. He, he didn't believe that he can, and he would end without God. He needed God in order for him to be able to. So God doesn't take the gift, but when he leaves, it will be hard for you as a man to do it by yourself because you need God because it is God who understand the gift he, he is the one who gave it to you so so when he when, when he is no longer there definitely you're gonna lose the purpose of life you're gonna lose your identity you will not understand who you who you are that is why many of us are, are lost that is why many of us we we, we took we too deep into sin. There's something that we lost. We, we, we failed to realize that God left. And we're just not ready to go back and, and beg him and, and tell him we've made a mistake by telling Delilah that, that, that the hair has never been cut. We, we've told someone who wanted to know where the power was that the hair has never been cut. Of which it had nothing to do with that, but but because that's what Samson said, then Delilah believed that the power was in the in the hair. Then they they shaved off the hair. So now the Bible tells us that the hair drew back. You know that was to boost Samson's Samson Samson's faith that he, he, he and his belief so that he can know that okay now. Maybe when I pray to God, I can receive this power. So now, they did gorge out his eyes. And now they are just, you know, they are just relaxing. They know that they have victory over their enemy. But now, they come the big day. Where, where, where they gathered around to celebrate their victory over their enemy they now came they now came as like all of them they can't they, they came to to wherever they were on, on the temple or in the building where, the, where they were yeah okay it didn't specify whether it's a temple or whatsoever, but it tells us that they they had this great festival, you know, to to offer sacrifice sacrifices and and praises, you know, to their gods. Of which this is so amazing. Which means maybe even their gods, maybe they were also in there. Maybe. But now we've been told that, that they gathered there on that great festival. Right? That's what, that, that one we know. That they hey, And now they forgot something. They made a, a very big mistake right there. When they brought Samson. Then they made a very big mistake. A very huge mistake. As they told him. Walk not by sight. That was by gorging his eyes out. 
Then now we see Samson coming into wherever they were gathering. And then now, in a way of disrespecting him, in a way of showing him that he is nothing anymore, they gave him to a boy to lead him. So in other words, they gave him what they took from him. Yes, Samson, we've, we've taken your eyes. But now, here we're giving you eyes. They were so foolish. But then Samson was, was, was very smart. Then he began to use understanding. <laughs> With his understanding, he knew that because it was a building, definitely it, it must have the main pillars. Then he used his knowledge because he, with, his, with his ears, he heard that they, they are, there were many people right there gathering in there. He had them. Then with his knowledge, he can notice this. So here they are. This is where they are gathering. They were celebrating themselves, saying they have victory over their enemy. And then he used, he used his wisdom. Now he used his wisdom. That is why God says, in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, he says, My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. They lack knowledge. So Samson, he used wisdom, he used knowledge. Then he told the boy that they gave to him. He says, he said, hey young man, can, can you just show me to the main pillars? The, the ones that make this building to be this firm and to stand still. I just want to rest today. They gave him eyes. Then the boy began taking Samson there. Then when Samson got there, putting his hands on both pillars, He began to pray. Remember, the, we, we never heard in a part where he said he prayed. But now when he was in the position, because many of us, we, we like praying. We, we, we pray for anything. You know, Samson, we didn't hear Samson praying, God, what should I do now? But he knew and understood that now, because they've given me someone who can see, and I don't have eyes, let me, let me use his eyes. It was him who decided, let me identify, let, let me tell him to help me identify the main pillars. As the enemy is still rejoicing right there. They are misunderstanding whatever that is happening here. That is why they are laughing so much and thinking I'm, I'm using them as, as I start pushing the pillars. As I start trashing them, they start killing them, they are rejoicing. They find pleasure in that. They find they, they find fun in that. That is why a lot of fun, if you look at it, it's actually destruction. It's destroying you. Yes, it, it may look as fun now. It may look as fun. Enjoy, you're enjoying it. But it's destruction. So they started laughing, thinking Samson is amusing them. But Samson already had, he had prayed. He called to God saying, please strengthen me one more time. So I can revenge myself for my two eyes. Please remember me, Lord. That's what he said. Then he started push. Of which that was his assignment. 
So in other words, they made his assignment so easy and so simple by gathering into one place. So it was important that they removed his eyes because had he had those eyes, he was going to hunt for them. You know, when he, when he would see one Philistine, he would deal with, with him or her. But now they gathered together. Then he prayed. Then he prayed. Calling up to God. Then he began pushing. Because now he was in the position. He did all that he could. It was God now who had to intervene for him to finish his assignment. So it is important to pray when you're in the position. It is important to use your wisdom to get into the position. It is important to walk not by sight, but by faith. Because by sight, the moment you lose some things, the moment you see some things being taken away from you, you will lose faith. And you will remain in that very same place. Then the greater that would come if you had believed and have and had faith will never experience it. But now he didn't have eyes. Then they came. They thought that they overpowered him. Then he said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish my assignment right here. As they rejoice, I'll be praying to God and, and calling for him to remember me. So the power in me can, can work again because even the hair has, has grew back. So now it is easy for me to believe actually that yes, the power can actually return because that's what he believed that the power left him which that's not the whole truth because the Bible told us that God left him not the power remember God doesn't take the gift but the gift is likely to become useless when God is not there so you need God for your gift to be useful and, and, or else you're going to misuse it so now he, he, he began pushing and he began breaking and, and he died there with them like all of them. So he killed many people at that time. So now, I, I hope you will really get to understand the power of not walking by, by sight. Because by sight, the devil can take anything that you can see. It is easy for him to, to snatch and take anything that you can see by your eye, by your naked eyes. Just to make sure that you don't get into the next level. So you have to be careful. You have to walk by faith, not by sight. And you have to realize when God left you. And we have to call upon him, as Jesus said, El Eli Lama Sabatan. He realized when God had, had abandoned him. So you can also call upon God. Eli Eli Lama Sabatan. Because that, that would mean you've realized that he actually left you. That would actually do. So it is important not to always focus on what you can see by your naked eyes but is God there is God there because he is all that we need is God there did you realize that when he left you Looking at yourself right now, do you think he's there? Or do you also just need to call upon him? Repent. 
humble yourself. Accept the fact that you are wrong. Because you can't, ex- you can't expect to be with God when you are busy indulging into sin. I know temptation is something that we face a lot as Christians. That is why we have to battle, 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 and battle by having faith in who? In Christ Jesus. It is Him who can deliver us, who can bring us into light. So looking at your situation, though other things have been taken from you, but when you look closely, is God still there? Focus not. The hair can still grow back. Focus not on those materialistic things. But is God still there? God is all you need. God is all you want. For you to have everything. It is God that you need. You need Him. So at this point, you can still call upon There is this short Hebrew prayer that I usually do. I actually, I don't know how, I, I just got to understand the, the meaning of this name, of this word, actually. Then I actually made a prayer out of The prayer goes like, you know, I will say, Abba Father, Hosanna. That's a deep one right there. I would, I would say when I'm feeling and when I'm when I'm lost and feeling it that yeah, I'm, I'm really lost. I would say, Abba Father, Hosanna. That's how you pronounce it in Hebrew. Hosanna. It says, it, it says, save. It, it says, please save me now. Save me now, please. That's what it says. Abba Father, Hosanna. Elohim, Hosanna. El Roy, Elohim, Hosanna. El Shaddai. You know, just calling upon him and, and it actually happens. To me, I feel like he actually hears it. He hears it. Because remember, even all other translations, they actually came from Hebrew. So Hebrew is the very ancient language that was being used. That is why some of the parts are still in Hebrew, like the one, Eli Eli Lama Sabachthan, is, it's Hebrew. Abba Father, Abba Father, it's Hebrew. Rabbi, Rabbi, it's Hebrew. So some, they had to leave them like that. Eli Eli Lama Sabachthan. Abba Father, Hosanna, please save me now. Then he will come, he will intervene, and he will feel it. So that definitely brings us to the end of our episode. Thank you very much for listening. I believe you've learned something. And thank you so much. Have a great and a wonderful weekend. It was great having you around. Please be blessed and may the Lord's peace and grace mercy be over you and your family and your friends in Jesus name Amen